matter of kind of deciding where or which day I want to wear each outfit on. So again, that just helps me stay organized for the packing. Alright you guys, um, I haven't been on here in a little while, but since then I got my pictures done for this um, article feature that I'm going to be in and I am typing up all my responses right now because I have to submit that along with my photos that I took for the um, feature. I got the list printed out of all the regulations that I have to follow for the state of Florida to have my cosmetic business. So I went through and read the entire thing again and I went and highlighted everything that I need to make sure I'm doing and following and that's really important. So I have all of that here. Sorry if you guys cannot hear me. It is storming outside. It just started out of nowhere. But my next plan of action is going to be that I really need to focus in on writing up all my guidelines for operations uh, because I got the okay on the place that I'm gonna be working out of to create and formulate my products. I'm very excited. Now I just have to hope and pray that um, when I get ready to apply for the um, permit for the state of Florida that my inspection passes and all that goes well. I'm really hoping and praying for that. This is very expensive and I do not have $950. You heard me. $950 total for this permit. I do not have that kind of money to just throw and toss and and uh, give away every time if my first inspection does not go right. Um, and the money is non-refundable. I already read up on it and got confirmation. So yeah, Florida sucks. Uh, so yeah, I want to do this right the first time around. Is that the you're paying this money and um, it's only good for two years. So basically, in the state of Florida, you have to renew this permit every two years. So hopefully, after these first two years, or even after the first year, I'm hoping my business will thrive enough to where I can eventually start working with a cosmetic lab on some products, um, and I'm not just doing all the formulating myself, because I am, you know, I, I don't want to be doing that forever. Um, you know, being the being the being my own lab. So ideally, yes, long term, I do want to work with a lab. Moving on, so I'm gonna finish this article stuff. I had a little dessert, it was so good. And then you guys see, I had to have me some wine. Um, I'm not I'm not a drinker, uh, but there are occasions, maybe a few times, a couple times out of the year, where I like to have a glass of wine and just feel relaxed and in my zone. I'm um, here at home and that's what I'm doing right now. So I, mean, I feel like I'm in a good place and I feel like I deserved a little bit of wine. finished typing my interview questions and getting that submitted and I got my photos uploaded with it so I'm really proud there was also a bonus opportunity to create a video version of uh, the article questions that I had to answer but by the time it took me to thoroughly think about my answers you see it's now nine o'clock at night and I personally don't feel like trying to film a video version of my article submission and try to edit it and still get it all done tonight I'm, I'm kind of drained at this point plus you guys saw I had a little bit of wine so you girls getting a little sleepy and yeah <laughs> so um, I probably haven't had on makeup you guys for about two and a half three weeks now because um, I've been working from home that work from home job and I wasn't really on camera much at all except for like my team meetings or my one-on-one -on -one meetings with my supervisor and even then it would be early in the morning and I just was not feeling put on makeup and all that 
so I would come bare face just do my skincare for the day and that was it um, and then we've not been doing like date nights and stuff where I've needed to really dress up so um, this has been really nice and like, my face looks so good you guys like I, I don't even want to take it off <laughs> I really like my makeup look for this it's so natural but so pretty and I love the blush and it's just giving the brows look pretty good yeah, I'm a little I'm a little sad to take off my makeup now another day as an entrepreneur vlog and today I am well right now I'm getting ready to sit here and edit through my YouTube video have been trying to get in touch with um, someone who might be a potential investor for my business so I'm really excited about that and um, we've kind of been playing a little phone tag because of our schedules right now today I just feel like I'm in a pretty good mood I feel nice and refreshed and um, my husband took the day off today which was nice so he's been here just spending time with me and Kaya and it's really nice because he's really not someone to take a day off unless like we have an absolute vacation we've put in place or something where he needs the time off but my husband works so much and I feel like he really needed the break personally and it was just nice to have this quality time today and not being worried or stressed with um, working and things like that so just kind of just chilling having some togetherness time um, Kaya is in there taking her nap so if you guys hear some little jazz coffee house style music playing um, yes that is uh, what Kaya is listening to right now during her nap cucumber lemon water this has been amazing so so refreshing highly recommend getting some flavored water in your life especially if you're getting tired of like having regular plain water every day like add some lemons add some strawberries add some mint watermelon uh, whatever you like you know just switch it up sometimes do a little switcheroo Hey guys I am back it is Wednesday I think I already said that in the previous clip I don't remember now but that was earlier this morning when I started filming and then my camera died so I had to charge it I am just feeling a, a little bit overwhelmed because I have chosen the direction of formulating my products in-house to start with for my brand it is a lot more required of me to do and have put in place legally so that I can, you know, be considered a legal business and do this the right way. And it's just very tedious. I also have to send on top of the application and the cost, which I already told you guys in the previous video, it's $950 total. Aside from submitting those two things, when I send this application, I also have to send the department copies of all my policies and procedures I have put in place. And I haven't written a single policy or procedure ever at all. Where I see my business going, I see it growing to the point where I'll have my own headquarters space and have my own lab in-house hiring people to formulate and produce. This is a lot. And yeah, it is making me feel like slightly discouraged, but it still drives me and pushes me to really challenge myself to do something I've never done before. But yeah, and again, I just have to remember my why, remember why I'm doing this and just keep going. Even if I need to like step away from everything and just take a breather, but I just have to remember to keep going with this process. Get the hard work done now while I can, but also still make sure I'm being a good mom because like um, she's down for one of her naps right now and I'm sitting in the office like part of me feels like a tiny bit of me feels like I'm being a bad mom because like I'm not spending the time with her because I'm into working on my business which I mean it's not like this all day long like I've been with her all morning and all day so far so part of me is like it's okay, you know, take this time to work on what you need to work on. 
Um, and then what is also helpful is like days like my husband doesn't get stuck um, longer than normal at work and then he comes home earlier. It's helpful because it helps to balance it out because now all the time he's missed from spending time with her for the day, now he's getting that back when he gets home from work and then that kind of gives me time to go in and work on some things as well at that time. So, I mean, I'm doing the best I can. It always means a lot to me when I have family members or people that reach out to me and just tell me that, you know, I'm doing a good job. When I look back over everything I've been through, I I, I feel like I'm, being, I'm doing a pretty good job. I'm doing as good of a job as I can, um, you know, considering my journey to get here, my, my health and everything. So it's an honor. It's hard work, but it, it is an honor to, to have the role of, of being a mother and being a parent and being able to lead and set forth good examples for your child.